Hi guys and welcome to your Faking It Weekly Recap episode 4 Oh a pico I'm not happy actually I'm really angry because where is my crummy kissing scene? I don't care if it's a real kiss or a dream kiss I need my weekly amount of crummy kissing scene First scene is Karma calling Amy because she hasn't spoke to her for 12 hours and 32 minutes and later in the episode Amy tells Shane she hasn't spoke to Karma for 15 hours and 26 minutes. That's so cute, they missed each other so much they kept counting the hours. If that's not love, I don't know what that is. Then Amy goes straight or gay to Shane and tells him she's desperate to make her feelings for Karma go away so she wants to find a new girlfriend so a fake girlfriend can go back to being her best friend I volunteer! but as far as I know that's not how things work and then she finally realizes and tells Shane she's jealous of Liam but let's be honest she doesn't have to because Liam doesn't even stand a little chance against Amy. And then there's this whole thing about Karma's parents selling organic juice at a school and she's kind of ashamed of them. And then BAM! Karma ignores Liam. That was so amazing! So Amy and Shane go to the Twain which is a lesbian coffee shop by day and a gay bar at night and stop me if I'm wrong but this was the most funny part of the episode because Amy's trying to pick up girls I don't know if she's trying to sleep with them or date them but she has a weird technique I mean Amy has literally no game this was so funny and I was a little turned on by Amy I mean she's freaking hot and Karma is too so the two of them together so now let's go back to Karma because she did something that really upset me at the beginning of the episode she was ashamed of her parents and now that everybody loves them she tells the old school that they are parents just to be famous and more and more I'm thinking Karma is, is self-centered and I just want to grab her and shake her and scream wake up karma amy is right here then amy bumped into a girl at the train who offers her to go back out her car what the fuck and amy is scared of who wouldn't and tells her she already has a girlfriend which is kind of true and Shane said something so fucking true like lesbians wanna bond, nest and they wanna fall in love and let themselves go that's how lesbian function so Amy goes to an app called scissors best word game ever and she has a date with Jasmine which didn't go that well um, then Shane helps um, Lauren to take naked pictures so she can become popular again. That's such an old trick and that's kind of pathetic. This scene is the scene they should have deleted. Karma is kissing Liam because she has pity or I don't know for him because the Squirrel girl is his sister and his family owns the company but I don't care Karma's lips should be on Amy's lips not on Liam's on Amy's I don't care where on Amy just on Amy so Amy is back from her date and she's afraid that if she tells Karma the truth about her feelings I quote her they'll drift apart until one day they meet in line at the grocery store and say polite hellos and pretend they didn't want to know everything there was to know about each other and as Shane said 
maybe just maybe karma feels the same way i know she does but she's too afraid to say anything and they didn't make a tv show so they don't end up together that's not logical so i'm guessing karma will realize um she loves Amy more than just a friend when Leon pushes her away because she's the kind of person who is never alone and who is afraid to be left alone. I need to say something because I feel like everything that comes from Shane's mouth is just so right. I mean, when he said, after all, it takes two people to make a good kiss, he couldn't be more right. Is like a genius out of a cup or a lamp or a bottle. I don't know what that's called. Anyway, thumb up for Amy's game, and I see you next week. Fake it till you make it, bitches.